this one here is the model of what I would like it to be. See, it's all solid. I don't know what I did over here, over there, to make that one like not as good. Something needs to be back here, and then something needs to be behind this, is what it appears to me. It needs to be thinner. Okay, so I'm starting to get an idea of what needs to happen here. We gotta get these walls ready for some wallpaper. That's right. Not just any wallpaper. What is it called? Shinwazari. <laughs> How I know that? I just, just, excuse me. Now I can remember stuff like that, but then I'm trying to think of tinfoil and I can't put two and two together. It has to screw to the outside of it. That was the whole point, just to make it thick enough for the whole, what we're trying to do here. Oh, is that one going vertically back there? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had a horizontal back there. Yikes, it seems like we're going in reverse. Kind of are. <laughs> you're doing your deck walk while you're working on this. I know. <laughs> It's just hard working on the bed because there's only so many places you can stab and yeah. so many things. It's a little bit treacherous. You could break an ankle in here. All right, one false step, boom, you're going down. Yeah, into the water tank. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. It's be behind it, but above that, just like that. So that was just screwing in that board to the one that's behind it. Yeah, now we're gonna okay. go. Now we're gonna put, screw in the boards on the front or nail or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what kind of screws we got for this. These might work. Mm -hmm. These would work. They're oh, little. You found the jackpot. These might just work. I gotta do that over there. I think we have to do some taping and papering to protect the stuff that we don't want sized. Or we could just do tape on that. How is that gonna work for the underneath part? Why well, are you gonna put wallpaper there? It's my mattress there. I know, but I'm covering it all. I bought enough wallpaper to go top to bottom. We got a little bit of area to cover. One person, which should be me, because I'm better at cutting in. I have a lot of experience doing it uh, with a paintbrush, cutting in around all the edges. And the other person shooting the field. With a roller? Mm -hmm. Actually, it should be done in two separate times. Oh, okay. Like cut in, and then we'll come back with a roller carefully. What's that, Mama Kitty? Oh, there's no treats because the ants got in her treats. We're going to get your them. treats when we go into town We're here in a minute. We're going to go to Walmart and get your treat. I promise. Because you're a good kitty, huh? Are you a good kitty? We trained her to come in her cat door by um, baiting her with kitty cat treats. And now we ran out because the ants got them. Yeah, and she's sad. She comes in here all expectant of getting her treat when so she comes So we're going to give in. you the hookup a little bit later, okay? hang in there don't be just too disappointed it's like oh okay i'll just wait right here for you then <laughs> okay so we did not plan on wallpapering this bedroom from the start this is basically our way of overcoming another problem because when we were building the walls in this bus it must have been a time when we were really broke because while we were in the construction supply store buying the paneling for all these walls, we found this really kind of not that attractive paneling for really, really cheap and we decided to go with it for some reason. 
because I think we thought most of it was going to be covered up by other furniture and closets and cupboards and things like that and we weren't really concerned with just having um, a few places show but after we got it actually hung up in the bus and we've been looking at it for months and months and months we don't like it we're not really happy with it and kind of regret the decision to buy it so the wallpaper is just a way of um, overcoming that little issue here i'll give you a little comparison so you can see for yourself this is what the nicer wood paneling looks like this is what the cheap crappy paneling looks like and it actually is um like there's a texture to it and there's little almost holes in it in some places and again it was fine for places like behind our closets and behind our cupboards but we wish that we had, would have gone with the nicer wood for the places that would be showing but instead instead we're gonna get to do something I have always wanted to do and have never been able to because I grew up living in a rock house with mostly rock walls and a few wooden walls so we could never wallpaper that then I've always lived in like rental houses since then I've never been able to wallpaper this is gonna be awesome for me here's a product I bet you never knew existed wallpaper size really what does that even mean wallpaper size it's what we have to do to treat those cheap paneling walls so they'll no longer be absorbent right now I think they're ultra absorbent and I guess that's not so good for wallpapering strange it looks like milk yeah it does Turn on the lights back here. Thanks. I love that. I love that we can just flip a switch and have light. In our fort. Oh yeah. Almost forgot. <laughs> we did forget, technically. We might as well have just brushed all the walls with this. I guess I could. It definitely seems like it's doing the job of sealing the wall. Yeah. I would be helping with this, but Mike can't stand to watch me do something. <laughs> He has to be the one doing it. Is that what it is? It's got to be it. It's interesting, the concept behind what we're doing here. We're just making the wall a little bit more waterproof. Yeah. We could, it's like decoupaging the whole wall. Yeah. It is very much like that. We probably could, actually. It just would have cost a lot more. How much was a gallon of wallpaper size? 28 bucks. Sheesh. Looks like we're going to use up one container full of that whole gallon. I know. <laughs> I, you know what the thing is? I didn't, I didn't know how much it was going to take or how thick it was going to go on. And furthermore, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't see it coming in any other sizes at all. It just came in one gallon sizing. I about got this all sized up now. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> got it all sized up. Mm-hmm. That's about the size of it. That's about the size of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> How much size did we use? About this size. So that was real easy. And the whole purpose of this stuff isn't to like paint or make it look better. It's just to make it waterproof because the, the paste that you use for the, uh, for the wallpaper is water-based. And you don't want it soaking into the wood behind it. So the size just prevents that and it bonds to the size. So this is kind of like a bonding agent. Whoa, bonding agent. James bonding agent. Bond. James Bond. That's right. My friends, 
Now it's time for the exciting part. All right, we use this Roman heavy duty wallpaper adhesive. This stuff is a hundred percent goo, man. This is like snot. Ew. It is really, 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 really Nasty. goopy. What they recommend, so I'm just doing this what I learned, so don't like take me as like some kind of super extra expert. But um, our rolls of water, wall, wallpaper are 24 inches wide, but we can't trust that corner as being perfectly level, so we can't just start there and then have all these lines going this way and down the, hopefully not obvious anyway. So what we did is I measured 23 inches from that wall out here and got a rough estimate and then I measured, this is very vertical. When we built it, it's perfectly straight up and down in where you're gonna notice it. And then I measured back, so it was pretty close to here. So in this case, it was six and a quarter, six and a quarter. And then I put a laser line on that, and this is gonna be the line we go off of. That way, it's 23 inches or so right to there. So and that you cut off the Then we cut off the edge so it matches right in there. Yeah, so, all right, here we go. Very scary. Never done this. There's no going back. There is no going back. However, this stuff promises to go on really thick. Well, wow. That's what we want because that's what they say makes the paper easy to work with is when it's really on there good and good. Yeah, exactly. And that's why we had to size the walls with the other product so that it wouldn't be absorbing all this adhesive. The, adhe the adhesive will sit on the surface, you know, wet a while longer because it's not being absorbed by that yeah. cheap wood. I am going just a little bit past our line. For two reasons. One, I don't want to have too little. The second thing is when I'm putting on the next batch of this stuff, I want it to be, uh, so I don't have to roll over the paper to get it right up against the paper. So now he's just edging for the places that the roller didn't get, just yeah. like in painting. All right, bring me some wallpaper. Oh my gosh, it's time y'all. It's time for real, we're really gonna do it. I can't wait to see how this is gonna look. Now we decide what part of this is, how high we want it, essentially. So I imagine we wanted it to be uh, mostly print. There's plenty left. And even then it's gonna be covered by a mattress no matter what mattress we okay. use. So, okay, since, since I'm trying to preserve as much of the bottom of the picture as possible, we have to do the bottom section first, make the cut where that little board trim is, and then do the top section. Jesus, the so I can't. You, can't. you have to work from the top down. Like, just hold it so that that's touching the bottom. <clears throat> touching right down, all the way at the bottom. Have it touch the bottom. That's gonna totally work. Yeah, I think so. This stuff's really thick. Man, that's good. This makes it hard to work with, huh? Yeah, it does. So 
this is exactly what we learned on the video we watched. Oh, I should have made mental note of the name of that video. How can I push that hard? And it still doesn't go through? I think I need the other box cutter razor with a new blade in it or something. Um, let's see if I can find that. This wallpaper is so freaking cool. So this is one example of a chinoiserie, meaning it doesn't have a repeating pattern. It just has one picture that keeps going the whole expanse. And the, on the other side will be a completely different picture. It's all just more tropical rainforest. It's so cool. It's hard to deal with. It's like trying to form cardboard or something. It's, you can't. Oh, because it's so thick. Yeah. This wallpaper is super thick and luxurious, like super high quality. I guess, I don't really know. I've never used wallpaper before myself, but I was very surprised when I opened the package to feel how thick and solid and like high, high quality it feels. Starting the second piece of wallpaper. <laughs> Hopefully this one goes a little bit easier. Seems like it's kind of a lot of work. <laughs> nice work matching up the picture. Okay. Well, I need to find the knife. So find that uh, for me. This is too happy. So it can work with it. Yeah, the extra first so he can then do more detailed work later. <laughs> Awesome. Oh no, it shifted. Uh oh, it did? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, probably rubbing with a scraper, huh? Yeah, but I just moved it. Wow. So it's true what they say. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, so now we need to be careful with it though, that it can be moved. Beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> it looks so awesome. So for right now, the mattress that we're first putting in here, which is the mattress we already have, is so thick. It's actually going to cover up the bottom part of the wallpaper, but we're planning for in the future, when that mattress is old and we need to replace it, we might end up going with something much thinner, like the mattresses you can buy online that come in a box nowadays. And so I, I just wanted there to be wallpaper, you know, in that area if we have a much lower mattress. Pretty sure that one went a lot faster than the first one. Yeah, so I said this one was probably going to be the easiest one of the, the ones we're doing. Yeah, the next one is going to have so many cuts in it. OMG. <sighs> yeah. And how, I mean, I don't know how to get the pattern to match. Oh, because it's just sky. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to go bottom up on that one. That won't matter. It's cut weird. We didn't have a sponge in order to use a damp sponge, so we're using a damp microfiber cloth. That seems to do it. Yeah. That's more matching the pattern right there. I just searched how to wallpaper and then he's and then the second part of the title is it is so easy you will love it. <laughs> Not if you're doing it in a schoolie. This is really a lot of work, actually. <clears throat> For reals, this is really, really difficult. You're doing a bang-up job. This I, I'm trying to imagine, because I thought when we ordered this wallpaper that I was going to be the one doing the wallpaper. And I try to imagine me doing this, and I just... Tears. I just see me <laughs> breaking down in tears and giving up totally. It would have been tears. It's, this <laughs> is so much work. 
It, yeah. Really, truly. I don't think it's the wallpapering itself that's so much work. It's that he's having to make so many cuts on every single piece that's so much work. It's just it's wallpapering in a funky space that's hard. Yeah, if is. this was just big flat walls and we were just rolling it up there, we would have been done by now. Oh my god, this is going to be hell. Cut it too short. Where? Right here. Well trimmed. Where I have to trim it. Uh, yeah. Looks good. I love the difference between looking at this wall and looking at this wall over here. Because here you just see wall and you know you're like you're at the end of your space and it's a very small space. But over here, it just seems More bigger. Depth. Yeah, it seems expansive. <laughs> We're back to the beginning on the other side. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm going to rise. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I am on my way up. I won't slow down. So I know we're going to get a ton of comments that it would have been cool to wallpaper inside on this pocket window. And believe me, we already thought of that. But there are a couple of places like down here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it rubs on something on the inside every time you open and close the window. So if we put wallpaper there, there would be a big rubbed off streak and it would ruin the wallpaper. It just wouldn't work. So you have to just leave these bare wood whenever they're closed like this. Never wallpapering in this wood again. We're never gonna paint again. We're never gonna wallpaper again. Decorating is for the birds. Mike's all about building, but decorating, not so much. I don't like doing this at all. You know what, you stupid ants, you're about to be immortalized. <laughs> dead ant, dead ant, dead ant. But wait, there's more. We also need to put a little bit of trim up on our top edge and back edge of our wallpaper. Oh, that one must be for the other side. That's up here. Yeah. Is it too long? No, it's just right. Oh, good. I did the measurement on that myself, you guys, so I was worried whether it was going to yeah. come out right or not. Really good. Oh, yeah. like nicely finished now it looks framed yeah it does looks really good okay the only thing we need to, to do is yeah the two back corners that are showing a little of the wood underneath but we don't have the right size trim for those right now so those last two pieces will have to wait this looks really really nice I see. Oh, it really does. It just does. 
Everything looks finished. That made a there. big difference in I here. I know, huh? That was a huge, huge addition. It needed to happen. Yeah. It needed to be framed. It looks finished now. Wow. What a difference that made. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down 